hello hello to my dear subscribers and supporters here we have one short pitch deck presentation i'm not doing here the tutorial for the whole presentation i'm just doing tutorial for the one slide and this whole template presentation you can find in the link below in the description i hope you guys will like this short presentation so let's see how we can create one of these slides first i'm inserting the image and i found this image on unsplash.com i'm cropping this image then i will as you can see here in picture format you have removed background on the left side i'm selecting areas to keep as you can see almost everything is purple so you just need with this pencil to select the area you want to stay the area which will stay they will not be purple so here you are just let me say playing with this pencil until things you want to stay on this image are not purple then also if you want to remove some areas as you can see I want to remove this couch here well he needs to be purple as you can see keep changes and that's it here I'm cropping this image again this is one awesome thing in the PowerPoint so now we have image with no background then I'm inserting this rectangle with with rounded corners no outline here I'm centering this shape I'm inserting the rectangle because I want to cut this part holding the shift key I'm selecting the first rectangle then the orange one and merge shape subtract then as you can see here for the shape fill I'm using eyedropper I'm using one color from the face of this girl on the image of course here for the image you need in picture format click on bring to front I want to remove this little part of the couch as you can see on the right side Keep changes then here it is but I'm not so satisfied so I will also crop this image to circle shape so click on this image crop crop to shape as you can see it's cropped to the shape but the head of the girl in image that's not good then I'm clicking again on this image, cropping shape, then click again on crop. So you can, as you can see, adjust this circle shape so you can crop it. And this one is the way I like it. It's pretty awesome now. So the main thing is finished, I can say. After this, I will insert text box with some description. Montserrat for my font, as always.
Then here I'm just copying this text, nothing important. Just some description for the template. You can insert here wherever you need to insert or type. I'm changing font size, color. Then I'm inserting the icon. I'm gonna use the diamond icon. I always use this diamond icon when I want to create a logo. I mean a template logo, of course, you can insert here your image and your description. I'm selecting both of them and I'm grouping them into one group as you can see and you can use also control plus G after the logo I'm inserting this circle circle hollow shape I'm making it thicker I'm adjusting here the size, no outline here. Then I will insert rectangle because I want to cut this part of this circle. So holding the shift key, you need to select circle, then the rectangle, merge shapes and subtract. I'm repeating this again because I want to cut this shape, circle shape a little more. And that's it. I'm changing here shape shape fill for, for this circle shape then I'm inserting a little circle shape no outline and shape fill is almost as you can see pink the important is that the circles ha have the, the same color as this first shape as you can see this shape where solution is so I'm just duplicating this little circles with Ctrl plus D and I'm just moving them around this half circle. Here again I'm adjusting the size of this half circle, then size for these little circles. Then I will rearrange these two circles a little bit, as you can see. And then I'm selecting all of this into one group. And here is the easiest part. I'm just inserting text box with the main description like heading then again i will insert text box with some description then i'm selecting both of them into one group then I'm duplicating with control plus D and I'm moving this description around these two other circles and then here I'm just changing as you can see font size for these headings Here I'm just inserting one line, I will change for this line, weight and color. Then I'm 
going to apply animations for this slide. Before that, here I'm selecting, as you can see, these two text boxes, grouping them into one group. Here on animations, I'm selecting this first shape, this first pink shape. Here I'm using fly in animation from left, start with previous, the ratio will be one second with a little bit of bounce end. The ratio will be one and a half second. Then here separately, I will apply animation. I'm deleting this, what I've tried. Then here I'm selecting first this image. I'm activating, applying the fly in animation from top with previous duration one and half and delay option is one and half, a little bit of bounce end. Then selecting this image as you can see now i will click on it i'm using animation painter and i'm just pasting that animation to this text box which is now one group and i'm just changing here effect options from the bottom so the same animation is here just the difference is in effect options for this line i'm using white animation with previous Here I'm choosing duration, maybe 8 seconds, but I will change that later. Here for this shape, I'm using wipe animation. With previous, duration will be 1 and half, and delay option will be 3 seconds. Then this text boxes, here. I'm selecting them holding the shift key and applying here fly in animation from the left side start with previous duration one and half and the lay option will be four and half seconds a little bit of bounce hand here in effect options then for this line I will change duration it will be six seconds from the beginning so that's it for this slide guys i hope you will like this slide you will like this tutorial you will like this animations and the whole presentation from the beginning so thank you guys for your support hear you soon and stay tuned